Hey guys, so here in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create um, Open VPN. So you know VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network. So it's going to create a secure tunnel between your currently connected network to your um, organizational networks. All the data is going to flow within the tunnel so you can feel secure. So it's a bit difficult to uh, tamper the tunnel. It's a bit difficult to crack the tunnel to hack the data. So here, so we already seen what exactly VPC is and we have created one public subnet and we have created one private subnet. So I want to access all the resources from on-premise environment directly. So with a secured method. So at that moment, we can depend on VPN connectivity. So we have a open source VPN technology that is open VPN. So they have the appliances with Amazon Web Services. So I'm going to deploy that open VPN and I'm going to directly connect all the cloud resources from my local instance itself without using any of the public IP address. So click on launch instance to deploy your open VPN. So you need to navigate to AWS marketplace that's a place where all the third party organizations they are going to sell their products. So look for open VPN, just give on enter. There you can find based on the connected device count, your pricing is going to be decided. So here 25 connected device, 50, 100, 250 and 500. So I'm going to use this free trial one. So open VPN access server with five connected device. So this is too sufficient to Test this open VPN with AWS. I'm going to click on select and so here is a pricing information. Click on continue. Then this open VPN recommend you to go with T2 small, but if you're worrying about the pricing, so you can go with this T2 micro also. So, so I'll go with this recommended one. So T2 small that comes with one virtual CPUs and two gigs of the RAM capacity. So configure instance details. So I'm going to deploy this into my custom VPC's public subnet. Then add a storage, add a tag. I'm going to add a name tag. So I'm going to name this as open VPN server. So, um, so configure security groups. So automatically it's going to pick up appropriate security groups and so these are the port numbers port number 22 that is for ss into this machine and 943 443 and 1193 so anywhere from the world click on review and launch then click on launch instance so i'm going to use a key pair to launch this instance then click on launch instance so in next step you need to generate one elastic ip address and you have to associate that elastic ip address for these open VPN instance. Click on view instances. So it is still pending. So now I'm going navigating to EC2 dashboard. I'm going to generate one elastic IP address. Click on allocate new address. Click on allocate. So here is the elastic IP address allocated to my AWS account. Click on close now. I am going to associate this elastic IP address to my open VPN server for that one go to actions click on associate address then select your open VPN server click on associate so that's it now we got a dedicated IP address for our open VPN server there you can see it is associated and here also you can find that elastic IP address now let us connect to that open VPN server go to uh, let me grab this public dns and i'm going to use putty to connect so here is a putty then let me give that host name and let me increase the font size then under connection under ssh Browse that your PPK file, then click on open. There you can see it is asking me to log in as. So default username for this is open VPN as. Give enter. 
there you can see I have logged into this machine successfully. So as a first step, it is going to ask me to accept EULA and user license agreement. So give yes here. Then, so you need to configure something. So is this going to be a primary access server node? Then yes, I'm going to enter S and specify network interface and IP address to be used by admin web UI. UI. So I'm going to give one and click on enter. Then default port for web UI for admin. Then I'm going with all the default options. Yeah, no, yes. And do you wish to log into the web UI as OpenVPN? So I'm going to set it to yes. And uh, if you have any license, you can apply. So I'm going to leave this blank. There you can see. So it is configured and here you can find. So web UI and client UIs. So these two are the UIs. So you can use to connect. But before that, so we are going to log in as OpenVPN. So we are going to log in as OpenVPN. So I'm going to create a password for this user. So sudo passwd OPVN, OPVN VPN. Then it is asking me to enter a password. Then I'm going to give a password. So password is updated successfully. So now I can log into this client by using this. So let me open the browser and let me enter that. So let me give that. So HTTP yes colon slash slash 35.154.214.216. Colon 943 slash just give enter. So go to advanced, click on proceed to the server. There you can see it is asking me for the username and password. So default username is OpenVPN. Then give the password, click on go. There you can find all the OpenVPN clients. So I'm using Windows machine, so I'm going to download this windows so open vpn connect to windows when you click on that automatically the client is going to be downloaded then open that yes so small firewall attention is required oh. this is something related to my antivirus okay So now it is configuring OpenVPN client in my local machine. So directly I can give username and password in the client and I can connect and directly I can access all my resources. Oh, so it says opened a um, couple of times. So let me cancel. Now I'm going to open the client. So it's taking too long time. Okay, so there OpenVPN Connect is installed. So I'm going to open that application and here is a server IP that is nothing but my elastic IP address which I allocated to that machine. So I'm going to give the username that is OpenVPN and I'm going to give the password, click on connect. There, just give yes. 
here you can see we have successfully connected to this open vpn so now so here i have a private hosted instance so that is database server so the ip address is 200.193 so let me directly connect from my local machine so in last video when we try to connect from local machine so we end up with an error but now you can see it is asking me to for the username and let me get the password from the pem file so so now you really no need to connect to public subnet first and then you no need to connect to the private subnet so you can connect to vpn you can access all your cloud resources from local machine okay so there you can see we got connected successfully by deploying this open vpn so that's all about open vpn and thanks for watching please subscribe